We've got stir fried chicken and vegetables all smothered in a sweet and sticky pineapple sauce. Get ready to satisfy those sweet and savoury cravings with this sticky pineapple chicken. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now, if you're anything like me, then you love sweet and savoury dishes and you're going to love this sticky pineapple chicken. So let's get cooking. Now I've got three chicken breasts here that have been chopped into bite-sized chunks and we're going to sprinkle those with two tablespoons of corn flour and a good pinch of salt and pepper and then mix it all together with your hands to thoroughly coat the chicken in that corn flour. Now we want to heat three tablespoons of oil in a wok over a high heat. Then add in that chicken and stir fry it together, moving it around the pan all the time with a spatula until it's golden brown all over. So while that chicken's cooking, we're going to make the simple sticky pineapple sauce. So to make the sauce, we're using the juice from a 435 gram or 15 ounce can of chopped pineapple and juice. We're also going to add in two tablespoons of light brown sugar, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce and a tablespoon of tomato puree and then mix that all together. When that chicken is lovely and brown, we're gonna add in an onion that's been chopped into wedges and a red pepper that's been chopped into nice chunky pieces and fry that for another couple of minutes. Then we're going to add in those pineapple chunks from earlier and cook for another two minutes. And we'll also add in two cloves of minced garlic and a teaspoon of minced ginger and then stir fry that all together for another minute. With the chicken lovely and golden and those veggies still crunchy, we're going to pour over that sauce we made earlier. Now we're going to bring that sauce to a bubble and let it reduce down while stirring it occasionally. It should take about five to six minutes to reduce down and start looking lovely and glossy so it coats that chicken nicely. Then we're going to turn off the heat and serve. I love to serve this over boiled rice with the extra sauce that just sinks beautifully into that rice. And we're going to sprinkle with some fresh coriander, maybe a little bit of sriracha if you like the heat, and serve. Yeah, I've been tucking into this already. Now, if you're wondering what's been going on with the slow cooker behind me, be sure to check in next week for our recipe for the most delicious pork carnitas. See you next time. Mm.